In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can unlock the ray gun schematic blueprint so you can craft the ray gun and immediately spawn with it in Modern Warfare Zombies. This is easily the rarest and hardest schematic to unlock in the game, so I'll show you exactly how to do it as well as a great strategy so you can set yourself up in game to have the best chances to get it. Spawning in with a ray gun straight away sounds incredible, and it is, but there is a 48-hour cooldown on crafting this. Now, the method to get the ray gun schematic is actually pretty simple, but you only have about a 5 percent chance of it actually dropping. Now, in order to get the ray gun schematic, you need to be in the high threat zone of the map, the tier three difficulty, and you need to simply be completing contracts. Now, there are only about four or five different contracts within the high threat zone, but they will constantly be refreshing once you complete them. And in the reward rift at the end, you have a five percent chance of finding the ray gun schematic. Now, obviously, playing in the high threat zone is pretty difficult, and especially doing multiple contracts and killing all types of zombies in here is not going to be easy as you will need to have at least half of the perks in the game as well as having a gold rarity weapon that is triple packer punched and that requires a lot of points and you only have a certain amount of time so let me show you the easiest method now it sounds crazy but you actually want to go in with a weapon that you don't care about losing so you can choose to use one of your insured weapon slots or a contraband weapon but regardless you are going to be trading it away later in the game i also recommend you spawning with any ethereum crystals that you might have in your stash or that you can craft such as pap one or pap two as it's going to make your life a lot easier but spawning in you want to do as many contracts in the low tier zone as possible so that you have 5,000 points the reason for this is that you are then going to get a vehicle and drive into the high threat zone and mark one of the wall buys on the tack map because the wall buys in the high threat zone are more likely to be gold which is the highest tier rarity weapon in the game whatever weapon you get this will guarantee it will have the highest possible damage out of any weapon in the game and is so much quicker and easier than trying to get your own weapon that you brought in up to that gold rarity. From this point, if you've brought in any Ethereum crystals to pack a punch your gun once or twice, use them because this is going to save you a lot of time trying to farm more contracts to get more points. Once you've got that gold weapon, you want to head back into the medium threat and complete as many contracts as many times as possible to try and get enough points to pack a punch your weapon through three times. So if you didn't spawn in with a crystal, you're going to have to pat once, which is 5,000, then again for 10, and then again for 15. So that totals 25,000 points needed just to get the gun triple papped, which is why if you have a crystal in your stash or acquisitions, it's going to make your life so much easier because you won't need to spend so much time getting those points and spending them on triple pack a punch. You will also want at least 4,000 points to buy the perk Stamina Up and Speed Cola. This is going to be absolutely crucial for surviving in the high threat zone. But if you're doing everything I told you in a team of three, you should be efficient enough to have the points and everything ready with about 20 minutes left on that timer before the zone starts coming in. Once you've got that triple pack a punch on that gold weapon, you are ready to begin. But I would highly advise at this point, if you have a second weapon, to literally just drop it and have your fists because you're going to need to have your fists out to be able to outrun all the zombies in the high threat zone. Once you have that triple pack a punched gold weapon, you are ready to begin fighting farming contracts. Now, most of the contracts here are eliminate the bounty contracts, which is going to spawn in a super powerful boss. With your triple papped guns, these bosses should still be pretty difficult, but should be manageable and doable. And of course, they have a reward rift at the end that might have the chance of the ray gun schematic. Now, I personally, I have probably completed about 15 to 20 of the bounty contracts over various games and I have never gotten the Raygun schematic to drop. So I'm not saying that it won't drop from these, but from my personal experience, the luck has been pretty low. But there are various bounty contracts here. You get a lot of points by completing these. And once you have 10,000 points, it really is a good idea to go ahead and buy a Juggernaut kill streak from the buy station so that if you do try a future bounty contract, you can drop the Juggernaut and you can just mow down the boss. Now, if you aren't doing bounty contracts and you're doing other contracts, then I highly recommend as soon as you finish them before you go to the next one to go to a buy station and literally fill up on armor plays. You can carry about 17 plays and you're going to be losing plays a lot. Zombies are going to be hitting you. Hellhounds going to be hitting you constantly. So it's super important to make sure you have a lot of plays. But for us personally, we got the schematic to drop by doing a simple escort contract. We had tried this with the bounty so many times and we didn't have any 
bounty contracts left, so we activated the escort contract and we were surprised that this wasn't as difficult as we first thought it was going to be. Of course, there's a lot of sprinter zombies, lots of hellhounds, just lots of chaos everywhere but once we completed this mission we got the reward rift and as you can see inside the reward rift we got ourselves the ray gun schematic this is not the ray gun weapon case this is the schematic so that you can craft the ray gun anytime anywhere that there you go you can see it right there to perform a successful exfil to craft this acquisition for future deployments once you have managed to find this exfil immediately don't waste any time whatsoever just get to an exfil and when you go back to the menu simply go to your rucksack schematic crafting and wonder weapons and you should see that right there you can craft the ray gun with that incredible 48 hour crafting cooldown so if you apply this in game and spawn in literally you see you have the ray gun weapon case which says to equip it to open and get the ray gun and literally just like that you have the ray gun and you can equip this with many crazy combinations so here i found a flawless ethereum crystal which papped it to tier three straight away i'm in the game for 20 seconds and i already have a triple pack a punched ray gun for free combining that with phd flopper an elemental pop and you have the most powerful weapon in the game straight away it is absolutely insane like i said this is completely separate to you finding the ray gun weapon case in game which you can get as a reward for completing the legacy fortress this is simply just something that you can bring in every 48 hours into a game of modern warfare zombies and always be able to have the ray gun it is absolutely insane now, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share this with your friends so that everyone can know exactly how to get the ray gun. Because once you get this, this is honestly going to be one of the most important unlocks in the entirety of Modern Warfare Zombies for the rest of the year. Now, do I agree with that 48 hour cooldown? I mean, to an extent, this is such an overpowered thing to have, but I reckon as the months go on, there is going to be methods for us to somehow reduce the amount of time it takes to cool down a ray gun gun schematic like two days is just absolutely insane now i'll also be making a video shortly on how you can unlock the wonder waffer dg2 schematic unlock so that you can also permanently craft a wonder waffer every 48 hours in your game as well because that is a little bit more difficult and it's not quite as simple as it seems for the ray gun schematic one but honestly the chances of this dropping is about five percent so it's gonna take a few games for you to get this it's honestly potentially worth doing a run before you attempt this so that you can have all of the things that i mentioned for you to have at the start of the game such as a crystal to pack a punch twice right at the beginning maybe even getting some perk cans so you can spawn in with stamina up and speed cola straight away that way it eliminates some of the other point chasing that you're gonna have to do but if you want more Modern Warfare Zombies guides like this in your subscription box, then you need to hit that subscribe button. And there's one on your screen right now. So why don't you go ahead and click it?